smells absolutely amazing. I'm genuinely excited about everything that we make in this kitchen. But today I'm super excited because I love antipasto platters. Easy, quick, and fun. I know, right? And, and the very shading impressive. part is really good. Yeah. 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 Okay, so um, you're going to start with your dates. Mm -hmm. And you would just make a small little incision like that. Okay. I'll show the first one and then you can get it after yeah, so sure. you can save some time. Um, and then you will just press your little seed out like that. Uh -huh. And then basically you're good to go and fill with the gorgonzola cheese. Okay, wow. Okay. When you wrap them, you will take your prosciutto slice, which is technically actually dry cured pork neck. Wow, I love prosciutto. And All my favorite things are basically <laughs> here in front of me. <laughs> just want to slice that in half, and then you just roll them and skewer them. And then we'll bake them in the oven for five to ten minutes on 180 degrees or until the prosciutto is like seriously really crispy. crispy. Yeah. And then um, I we'll love serve that. them up. Okay, so you can also replace the dates with figs. How do we roll them? They're in season. Okay. Is, the, is this the gorgonzola we're That's putting the gorgonzola in? Mm -hmm. that you're pulling. Mm -hmm. So you literally just take your date like that. And you'll wrap them up nicely. Okay. Is there a particular That's type of sure. gorgonzola that we need to use for this? Not necessarily. If you like blue cheese, then go wild. Ah. What's the best way to stuff it in? Um, With a, a knife? Uh, depends. If you like to get dirty and get your hands in there, then you just use your hands, which makes mm -hmm. it really easy and simple. Right. But then you could also, basically because it's such a little that we're putting inside, use the back of a teaspoon. So you'll pick up your portion with a teaspoon and then you'll press it in with the back of the teaspoon. Right, I hear you. Cool. Okay, okay so we're not stuffing it till it's fully fat. We're just no. putting in a little bit. Yeah. Otherwise, so we just want our cheese to complement the sweetness of our... Yeah, yeah. Now. Okay, perfect. Okay. Let me roll while you're okay. being full. And then these go into the oven for how long? Five to ten minutes at 180 degrees. Make sure your oven's hot before you start. Okay, so you need to preheat your oven. Yeah. Or until they're really, really crispy, so you can watch them. And while you're watching them, you can just, like, levitate in that great smell that comes <laughs> off it. <laughs> and what else is accompanying our antipasto? Okay, so to that, we will add some salami, and we also have some stuffed olives, some grilled artichokes, some pecorino cheese. Mm -hmm. We'll do some grilled ciabatta. Oh, we're going to grill the ciabatta. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. we've also got some lovely roast peppers as well. Okay. Okay. So, should we get going with the yeah. ciabatta, perhaps? Because we still need to roast that. Okay. Are we slicing it? We are, but we're not going to go diagonally. We're going to go lengthwise. Oh. So we can create nice abundance with those long wedges. Okay. Okay. So let me just finish this off quickly. Perfect. And I'll push this to the side because we're showing you how to do that. And what kind of a heated, what kind of heat does the ciabatta go in? Uh, we're going to grill them, I'm obviously. Grill them. Yeah. Okay. So you'll just stop them. Like also that. about 180. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Technically, you want to go on the oh, grill, make it nice and hot until it's smoky. The and then just grill. check the length of your grill pan, because that uh -huh. would guide you in terms of how long your bread actually Ooh, needs, I see. needs to I be. See. Cool. Okay. So then we'll go lengthwise like that. Oh, yummy. yummy. And then we'll just brush, brush them with some olive oil, season some them with some oil. salt and pepper. Here's the brush. Perfect. I love me some olive oil. Yeah. Good for everything and bad yep. for nothing. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Okay. Look at that color of that olive oil. Okay. It's so I'll gorgeous. Get okay. That on so now. Should we run a production line? And don't be scared to get the grill like seriously, seriously hot so hot. you can add that nice grill lines. Cool. Okay. And yes, we are doing the crust because actually the crust part is the best part of it. It is the best part, yeah. hey. Well, it's also the part that you can grease the most. Yeah. <laughs> I know this. Okay. okay. While we carry on, check out our website, afternoonexpress.co.za, for the full recipe, the shopping list, and all this yummy goodness. We're back on the couch with Danilo. <laughs> Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We're putting the finishing touches to our antipasto. Oh, I'm so excited. Everything smells so amazing. Okay, so. How did you do this? Oh. These little roses. So I literally 
took your slice of prosciutto. Uh huh, that's cool. And then you just flip. Yeah. And you twist. And you have a little rose. Mm. How easy is that? Look at you. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. So, so we'll put that over there. Yeah. And then we'll just decant our olives into this beautiful little small jar over there. Oh, wow. Easy peasy. There's also stuffed here. Yeah. yeah Those yeah. are stuffed with sun-dried sun tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes. Um, we'll just break this cheese up. Oh, nice I and I love gray. how sticky and all like... Mm, it is. Tuny. Just like put it on there. Wow. How good is that? It's just incredible. Oh. Very strong yeah. flavors. And we've also got some lovely roasted Yeah, peppers. let's talk about how you roasted those. So you, you can roast them on an open flame. Yeah. So literally open flame until they char. Okay. And then you want to put it in a bowl, cover it with plastic wrap until it sweats and it will literally sweat the skin off itself. Right makes off. it easy to peel. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because the skin gets quite bitter, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, cool. But now you get that roasting notes, which is really good. All I'll right. chop these up. Maybe you can put the cheese on. So mm -hmm. I've sliced the pecorino cheese in little wedges. Yeah. And I can just take some of that. And we'll add the rest of our peppers. How gorgeous do yeah, these looks dates look? They look incredible. <sighs> I can't wait to eat them. I'll put them over there. But I think Jeannie's going to finish them before <laughs> everybody else. Okay, awesome. Okay. And then we okay. add the rest of our cold meats, which is our salami. Okay. So we can actually just take the platter. And then you take your platter and Bob's your uncle. Okay. And having like a big I think it's time to party. Serve this. How are you doing, YouTube fam? Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and commenting. We love hearing from you, so be sure to keep up to date with all things Afternoon Express by clicking the subscribe button right here.